गुरु ब्रह्मा गुरु विष्णु गुरु देवो महेश्वर गुरु साक्षात पर ब्रह्म तस्मय श्री गुरुवे नम ओम भवताप प्रणाशिने आनंद घन मूर्त ध्यान भक्ति प्रदायिने मातस्तुभ्यम नमो नम जय मा ओके I have made a few points and you know little little stories I thought I'll tell you today before I proceed to other mahatmas and you know other stories See there was a time um there was this uh pandit I think yeah pandit who told me the brahmin that i was talking about you know i have this huge temple which you people have seen so he suggested that i should keep a crystal in the mandir uh it's always beneficial if you keep a crystal uh, near your murti or whatever because whoever enters your mandir should never touch any of your murtis or anything why you have collected certain vibrations in that mandir and the pran that you are giving into the murti is your pran basically right murti is clay or whatever in is it is it has nothing in it but because you are sitting and doing so much puja you have become a part of that so when people come and touch the murti what happens is they pick up those vibrations that you have collected and they take it away so you are left with nothing you are empty again and again you have to rebuild all that you know and that is why it is always recommended people have a habit when they come for darshan they want to touch ma they want to touch this murti they want to touch it should never be allowed they should just do pranam and walk out because it's a private mandir even if you go to big temples you are not allowed to do that so the suggestion give because sometimes if i'm not in the mandir people will go and touch you know so this pandit gave me the suggestion that you put a crystal there it will not even if they try to touch it they will not be able to take away the vibrations it will still remain there because it is it is going to reflect back on them i said okay so i was thinking where do i get the crystals from uh, you know because they have to be authentic they have to be proper you know everything in there so one day what happened is this thought came to me and somebody came to my house and said look what i got for you see these beautiful crystals so i said okay i'm looking for a crystal and you've got me a crystal wonderful you know and it was hanging on a like a little string and you have to hook it on it was something like that so i hooked it on and i kept that crystal thinking all the while that it is a crystal now see what happens one day i was sleeping and in my vision swami bhaskaran ji came and he was very much in his body at that time it wasn't like he had gone this was the beginning of my period of sadhana you know beginning of my journey so he comes and he says you know my suggestion to you is that you should keep crystals in the mandir and i said what i said i already have crystals in the mandir you know he said you see it wards off different people's vibrations it will go back to them and you know people will be coming to your mandir so often and touching this and that and you know, he explained everything to me i said i know swami ji and i already have a crystal in the mandir i don't know what you are saying and he disappeared so i got up in the morning and i said why did he come and tell me this he already knows that i have the crystal i said i don't understand then after a few days again the pandit came and he came with a little briefcase so i said uh, you know i am a little confused what have you got for me first i asked him so he said look i got you some beautiful crystals there is a shivling there is a shri antra crystal there is this there is that i said what is happening over here i said i already have a crystal in my mandir so he said let me see your crystal you know so i said why should i take more crystal i already have so he went to the mandir and he had one rupee because he could he could tell whether this was genuine or not 
He looked at the crystal that was hanging and he said, this is not a crystal, this is glass. I said, really? I said, no wonder Bhaskaranandji came and told me put a crystal. And I didn't understand. This is how Ma helps you. So I said, okay, take it out, take it out. And then I took all those crystals that he had got for me and I placed them with Ma and you know, all that is there. So this is like a protection. Then I called up Swamiji and told him that I had this vision and you came in my vision and you gave me all these instructions. So he said, I have no problems. Have you put them? I said, yes, I have. He said, no problems and I have no objection. Just do it. So see, it is Ma constantly making somebody an instrument and sending you some message or the other via via. Now for these things, one has to be very sensitive, very receptive very aware all the time of what is happening around you. Not to be flippant about things, you know. On this journey, it's very important to have a decorum, to have a paddhati, when you talk also, to have a paddhati. When you talk to sadhus and saints and all that, you cannot just talk anyhow. You cannot just behave anyhow. You have to have a decorum. So, this was one of the stories that I remembered that how Ma comes to help at every given time. Little, little things, but you know, you'll be guided. Now, there's another story that I'm remembering. Ma ki leela to aparampar hai, you know. And you have to have that understanding, uh, that patrata you have to have. You have to be that patra, you know, that what do you call patra in English? Uh, you have to be eligible to be understanding all this, you know. So, once what happened is, my father, uh, Swami Bhaskaranandji, uh, uh, Swami Nirmalanandji, Nirvananji, and I think there was one more, which I'm not remembering now. They were all sent to Badrinath Kedarnath by Ma. Ma told all of them, Ke tum log jao. So they said, okay, and they were contemplating once we go to Badrinath and all that, where do we stay? Because this was right in the beginning, there were no hotels or nothing. What is now was not there at that time. So Modi ji had a bungalow over there, you know. Uh, so he was a Param Maam Bhakt and all that. So he came, he was there in the ashram when Ma suggested this. So I'm not talking about the PM Modi ji, I'm talking about Modi ji, the industrialist. So he was there and uh, he said, Ma, mera to bungalow hai wahan pe, to you know, please ask all of them to stay in my bungalow. So Ma said, dekho, Bhagwan kaise bando bas kar deta hai. She's telling all of them, as if we don't know who that Bhagwan is, who did it. But that's how Ma used to talk. So they said, fine, they were very happy and they all went to Badrinath Kedarnath. Now, on the way back, um, they were in this jeep, you know, it was a, I think it was a jeep. And they were driving, they were on the road, and suddenly they see this lady walking on the road. She was like middle-aged, you know. And suddenly all of them, when they saw her, they said, what is she doing? She's walking on the road, doing what? She also must have gone to Badrinath and all that. So they decided, and she was a Ma devotee, Param Ma Bhakt. So they decided, let's stop the car and give her a lift. Poor thing, she's walking, walking, walking. How long will she walk? She'll be very tired. So let's put her in the jeep. So they stopped the jeep and told her, Ke aap bed jau. So she said, Dhanyavad and all that. And then she sat in the jeep. And then they were all doing satsang and discussing, Ke Ma ki kitni kripa hai sab logo pe. Or Ma kitna khyal rakti hai sab logo ka. How much she takes care of everybody and this that they were discussing. This lady was listening to it. And she says, Mujhe nahi lagta hai ki ma ki jitni mujh pe kripa hai. Utni kisi pe bhi hai. Is dunya mein kisi pe nahi hogi. So they were surprised. You know, these are, they were brahmacharis that time. Swami Bhaskarananji and Nirvananji and Nirmalananji. And my father was a very dear friend of them, you know, so. That's how he, Ma had sent him with them. So, uh, they were surprised that why is she saying all this, you know, as if, Hum pe kripa nahi hai kya? So she says, 
क्यों मैं ऐसा बोल रही हूं तो दे से हाँ हम सुनना चाहते हैं तो शी सेड मेरी जिंदगी में एक भी दिन ऐसा नहीं गया जब दुखों के पहाड़ मेरे सर पे नहीं टूटे जब मुझे तकलीफें नहीं हुई एक दिन नहीं एक पल नहीं एक क्षण नहीं साधु सिटिंग महात्मा टूडे महात्मा they looked at each other and they said she is so right because they knew her since a long long time you know so they said she's so right because we have seen her suffering going through turmoil after turmoil there's not a one single moment in her life that she has got peace and so you would ask me how is that then ki itni kripa ma ki hai then she says itni kripa hai कि मुझे इतने दुख दे दे के मुझे धो रही है मेरे सारे कर्मों का नाश कर रही है मेरा कुछ भी नहीं बचेगा सो so, कितनी सुंदर बात है कि माँ की सबसे ज्यादा कृपा मुझ पे ही है और किसी पे नहीं है इट इज इट इज सो ब्यूटिफुल बट सी दी अंडरस्टैंडिंग ऑफ दैट अदरवाइज यू नो मोस्ट ऑफ द टाइम्स वी आर सो ह्यूमन दैट ऑल वी डू इज कंप्लेन हाय हाय मुझे ये हो गया हाय हाय मुझे वो हो गया इट इज कॉन्स्टेंटली दैट बट लुक इट हर एटीट्यूड शी रियलाइज वॉट दिस वॉज शी अंडरस्टूड एंड शी सेड नो दिस इज मास ग्रेस ऑफ मी सो दीज आर द टू स्टोरीज फॉर टूडे एंड टू बॉरो आई कंटिन्यू जय मा ओम भवताप प्रणाशिने आनंद घनमूर्त ज्ञान भक्ति प्रदाय मातस्तुभ्यम नमो नमः जय मा